The American Ceramic Society and the Ceramic and Glass Industry Foundation are pleased to provide you with this instructional video for the student lab activity, How Strong is Your Chocolate? The objective of this lesson is to demonstrate how material properties, such as microstructure, can influence the strength of a material. In this lab, different types of chocolate bars will be tested to demonstrate the influence of different microstructures on the flexural strength of the chocolate bars. Some of the materials used in this lesson are included in the Materials Science Classroom Kit, while other items will need to be purchased. Those items are commonly found in grocery or department stores. In some instances, it is appropriate for students to bring some items from home, which helps pique their interest. The materials needed for this demonstration are plastic cups, a mass balance, pennies, chocolate bars, chocolate bars with almonds, chocolate bars with crisp rice, ruler. Measure and record the type, width, and thickness of each chocolate bar. Position two items or desks so that the chocolate bar can span across the space between the desks. Approximately one half inch of the chocolate bar should be touching each desk. Measure and record the length of the chocolate bar that is not supported by the desks. This is called the length of the support span, L. Place the twine with the cup attached across the middle of the chocolate bar so that the cup hangs freely below the chocolate bar. Using a paper funnel, start placing the pennies into the cup one at a time. The pennies should be funneled in at a steady pace, doing so in a way that they do not fall a large distance when they enter the cup. Continue placing pennies into the cup until the chocolate bar fractures. Be sure to note any deflections or bending of the chocolate bar during the loading process. Record the number of pennies in the cup at the time of fracture. Look at the fracture surface and record any observations. Repeat the same steps for the chocolate bar with almonds. Have the students guess how many pennies it will take until the bar falls. Find the mass in grams of the cup, twine, and the pennies in the cup at fracture using the mass balance. Repeat the same steps for the chocolate bar with crisp rice. Again, have the students guess how many pennies it will take until the bar fails. Find the mass in grams of the cup, twine, and the pennies in the cup at fracture using the mass balance. Consult the teacher's manual included in the Material Science Classroom Kit for discussion questions to ask before, during, and after the demonstration.